What is going on folks? My name is Spice. This is Spice Can't Fish. Today, today I've got a massive unboxing for you guys. If you guys have been around the channel for a little while, you guys might have actually seen a video probably two years ago now, way back when I used to work with Bass Baits Monthly. Actually, I think that was before I started working with Bass Baits Monthly, so back when I was just subscribed to Bass Baits Monthly. But yeah, anyway, I got one of those boxes way back when, and uh, in one of those boxes was actually a sweet little crankbait by a company called Cornerstone Baits. Up until that point, I'd never seen a Cornerstone Baits crankbait before. I don't even think I'd even heard of Cornerstone Baits to be honest with you, so I didn't really know what I was supposed to be expecting or what I was getting myself into, but went out, tied the thing on, and uh, caught a couple of nice fish on it. Now, over the past couple of years, they've been going through a complete redesign for all their products. I made a couple orders from them a little while ago from like some of their old crankbaits and stuff that they were discontinuing. So I got a few of their older baits hanging around, but I didn't really have a whole bunch of them, so I wasn't really throwing them all that much. But this past winter, they came out with a whole bunch of new baits, which I went out and bought a whole bunch of, as you could probably imagine. So we're going to get up into this box, and uh, I'll show you guys a whole bunch of new baits from Cornerstone. But yeah, we got a nice little healthy stash of some cornerstone baits to play with. So we're going to get into the box. I'll show you guys what we got. And you guys might want to stick around for this one because there might actually be a couple of baits in there for you guys as well. So stick around at some point in the video. There might be a little giveaway for y'all. But yeah, like I said, we got a massive unboxing to get through. So I'm going to shut up, get you guys set up, and uh, show you guys what we got from cornerstone. Alrighty, folks. So we got the big old box here. I'm actually going to leave this off to the side and just like pull stuff out and show you guys as I'm going. But I got this little like updated camera angle for you guys so it's not moving around you guys get like a nice little look at my hands i can show you guys the baits up real close and personal let me know if you guys like this view i might start doing unboxings like this in the future but yeah like i said we got a ton of baits to go through so we're just going to kind of start rolling through them i'm going to go through the box and uh, kind of organize this stuff figure out how i'm going to talk about it what order i'm going to kind of talk about it in and uh yeah then we'll get into the unboxing Alrighty. so the first bait that i picked up was a whole bunch of these these are the big swift this is their new top water bait i'm going to pull a bunch of these out of the package to show you guys the colors real quick but just to give you guys a look at the packaging as well that's the nice little updated packaging for cornerstone baits not that i think that packaging really matters all that much but it does look really nice so props to them again this is a little bit updated i think the old packages were a little bit more um simplistic i guess is a good way to say it but these definitely look clean look super fresh but yeah, I don't really know all the features on these things. I know they come with owner split rings and hooks and everything on there. Come with, uh, let's see, what, what does it say on the back? Yeah, Sticky Sharp 3X Owner ST56, number four trebles, and then the Hyperwire number three split rings. They said they designed it and tested it for 10 months, so that's pretty sweet. Shows that they really took their time with this bait, and I assume all the other baits they have in their new lineup. But yeah, I really like the look of these things. They look really solid. Oh, I'm going to actually pop a bunch of these out, show you guys all the colors that we got. Yeah, I actually popped all these baits out of the packaging so y'all can see the design and the little details and stuff. But I really like the way that the face is shaped. They have like this little raised gill slit area, which looks really lifelike, super cool. I don't really think that makes all that much of a difference on a bait, especially a topwater bait like this, where they're really just seeing the bottom of it. But shows that they, again, really took their time designing and detailing this little bait. Like I said, I did go a little bit overkill when I made this order, so I did end up picking seven of these things up. Um, I got this one, which I believe is their shiner color, super natural, kind of like an off-white, kind of bonish color. Really like that. Next up, we got this color. This is Honey Shot, a little bit different, has that darker back. Also has a super bright orange belly that's probably showing up a little bit more yellow on camera, but it's bright orange in person. But again, just kind of like a natural bait fish shad style top water color. Again, looks super good. Just something a little bit more flashy for a little bit dirtier water. All right, then we got this guy. This is Pearly Gills is what they call this color. Just a super bright uh, kind of pearlescent color. Again, kind of designed to imitate a bluegill. I think it'll also do a good job imitating like a perch. Again, just a little bit of a louder, brighter color for a dingier water, just something a little bit different. I don't really have a lot of chartreuse top waters, especially chartreuse uh, spooks like this. So I figured I'd just pick one up just because again, kind of an interesting looking color. Going to something a little bit more natural. We got this color, this is Space Shad. So again, has a little bright orange strip on the bottom, which I'm sure you guys can barely see, but there's just a little bit of bright orange in between those front two hooks. But, but yeah, another super natural bait fish color. Something I didn't mention about these things is the rattle system they say it has kind of like a unique sound so yeah that's definitely kind of interesting it's got kind of like a two-tone so it's got like that lower thumping noise from those bigger guys back there but then it's also got these little bbs up front so so you kind of got two different noises on this thing uh you got like that higher pitch rattle than those lower pitch knockers so really interested to get that thing out and uh, see what these things can do in the spring and summer Anyway, back to colors. We got Ghost Shad here. This is, again, a super natural shad. This is probably the most natural shad one that they have at the moment. Super translucent, really pearly. Got a little bit of pearlescence in it. 
Yeah, kind of like a light brown back, almost kind of reminds me of like a hitch color. Uh, if you guys have ever seen anything in like that hitch color, that kind of reminds me of that. But it's also got a little bit of a gold tint in there too, on top of that blue pearlescent. So as you're walking that, you'll kind of get like mixes of blue and gold, which I think will kind of make it look a little bit more natural. Again, a lot of bait fish aren't just one color. They're going to be a bunch of different colors. So having something that kind of like color shifts in a way as you're moving it makes it a little bit more natural. So that's a really sweet looking color. Really like the look of that one. And then probably my favorite color that I got, this is the hollow gills color. So again, just kind of like that translucent, more natural color. This one is again to imitate a blue gill. Uh, I think that looks super great with that little bit of orange down there a little blue around the gills, hence the name bluegill. Got that green back. That thing looks super deadly. Again, just like a really natural bait fish imitator, just something to imitate a bluegill a little bit better as opposed to like a shatter normal bait fish or something. And then this last swift is actually going to stay in the box for um, some reason that we're not going to talk about just yet, but it's going to stay in the box if you guys catch my drift. But they call this color green back herring. It's just like that bright white on the belly, got a little bit of a chartreuse stripe, and then just green going all the way down the back. Really like the look of that color. Again, just uh, have a ton of these things as you guys can tell so i could probably uh you know throw this one in storage or something else probably anyway on to the next bait that we got this is the dp 1.5 this is going to be their new addition to the square bell market this is just a little 1.5 diver they say this this one dives one to five feet i think on their website they said it dives one to three and a half so it'll probably go down to like that three and a half four foot range i got a whole bunch of these guys i actually had a few of their older square bells here let me see if i can actually go find one of those real quick Alrighty, so here we go. These are going to be the two different baits. This is the old one up top, and this is going to be the new and improved guy. So two different renditions of that Bluegill profile. The baits themselves are pretty different, as you guys could probably tell. They got different materials for the lips. The lip on the new one is definitely wider, as well as the body on the new one is wider. It's got a little bit more of a, uh, a thicker body to it than the older one. The overall presentation and attention to detail in the new ones is so much better than the old ones. Not the old ones were bad, obviously, like this one's caught some fish, but this new one just looks so freaking good. From the colors to just the actual, like, indentations and, like, gill slits, everything. Everything just looks updated, fresh, new, so much better than the old one. But yeah, like I said, that was the old one. That's the uh, Creeper, I believe, is what they called that one. That's a discontinued bait, so I got a few of those guys sitting around in the box, but I am really excited to throw these new ones around. These ones, again, went through like 10 or 11 months of testing. I believe these have a rattle as well. Yep, got kind of like a one knocker, like subtle rattle, not super overpowering, kind of natural, but I do really like that. The uh, old ones were 100% silent, so having just a little bit of noise, especially just like a little like silent or soft thud, I should say, I really like that for a natural square bell. And just like the spooks, these come with owner hooks. I believe these are size sixes. Uh, so again, all these baits are coming with owner hooks on them stock, which is super nice out of the package. But yeah, I ended up getting quite a few of these. I got like five or six of them. So this is again, that hollow gills color. Really, really like that thing in a square bill. That's going to get munched in the spring. We could throw this thing out in the ponds behind my apartment and get absolutely crushed, I'm sure. So we're going to have to put that thing through the paces, especially this spring. Then on like almost the entire opposite side of the spectrum, we have this super shiny gold flash color, which again is just like a bait fish color, but super gold and super flashy as the name would suggest. Got a little bit of blue up there by the nose, but overall just kind of like a natural bait fish color. That should be great for like really sunny days. I think that'll reflect a whole bunch of light. That should be fantastic. I'm really stoked to see what that can do. And then we got this guy. This is Ghost IU or Ghost AU. I don't know how exactly you pronounce that fish's name, but again, just like a supernatural bait fish color. Got a little chartreuse dot on there, which I really like. Got some gold around the... Uh, the gill plate and uh, just a little bit of gold on the back as well but again super natural very translucent color i really like that for super clear water gonna have to throw that thing around a whole bunch too and then this is their rendition of bluegill spawn so a little bit of a more bright solid bluegill color than that hollow gills again got that bright white kind of like a chartreuse off white color on the sides got that bright blue around the gills that should get bit all over. But yeah, just kind of like an all around like natural bluegill color. Again, just a little bit brighter for a little bit dingier water, but that'll get bit clear water to dirty water, I'm sure. And then I didn't actually order this one, but they were nice enough to throw this one in for free for me. So this is their glitter crawl color. Just a super bright red, black back with a little bit of gold flake on there. I'm sure that's not showing up on the camera at all, but there is some gold flake going all the way through the body and then just like a bright yellow belly. That's not even chartreuse, that's just yellow. I don't really throw like a crawl style bait all too often, a bright red crankbait, although it's probably something that I should throw more, especially early in the spring, but we'll definitely have to give this one a shot. Uh, again, not really something that I throw all too much, but uh, we'll definitely have to throw it around at least a little bit and see what it can do. And then again, sitting in its little plastic prison, we got a little green back herring. Again, I'll probably just like 
throw this one in storage or something. Maybe I'll throw it out or something. I don't really know. I don't really want it too much. It's a great looking bait, obviously, but I just have so many of them. I don't think I need this one. So I, I don't know. I'll probably just like throw it out or something. Anyway, I also got a few of these, which you guys probably think is the exact same bait than what I was showing you, but it's not. This is actually the 2.5. So it's a little bit bigger size. I'll actually grab the other one. There we go. I'm sure that's not really showing up on camera, but there is a substantial difference in size there. That's a little 1.5 on top and then the big old 2.5 on the bottom. Definitely a pretty girthy crankbait. Got some weight to it. Got some some girth to it for sure. I didn't get a bunch of these. I just picked up a few of them just because I figured I'd get a couple in just like that larger size. I don't really throw a 2.5 crankbait all too much just because I feel like I don't get bit enough on a 1.5 to try and upsize, but I figured I'd pick up just a couple. So we got this guy. This is their walleye color, which I really like. I don't think that looks anything like a walleye, but I think it looks great for just like any sort of bait fish imitator. Even kind of looks like a little baby bass a little bit. It's got the, like those lateral line bars up there at the top, but super natural. Again, just kind of like a bait fish all around ambiguous color profile. Then I also got the uh, 2.5 in that hollow gills color. Again, you guys have seen that like three times already, so I'm not really gonna spend too much time on it, but again, that supernatural bluegill color looks fantastic. And then I got this color, which is Table Rock Shad. They didn't actually offer this in any of the other baits or any of the other colors. Actually, they might've offered it in like the deep diver, but I only picked up a couple of those and I don't really throw chartreuse deep divers all too much. I don't really throw deep divers period all too much. So I just figured I'd pick one up in this little bit bigger size just cause it's a little bit of an interesting color and kind of just like an off size so figured i'd just pick one up because it looked cool but yeah that's about as bright and obnoxious as you could possibly get for a crankbait it's just pretty much all chartreuse the back of it's got like that purple pearlescence to it but pretty much just a chartreuse crankbait again really just for dirty water I, I feel like upsizing a little bit in size as well as using that super bright color should get me a couple more bites in that dirty water so that was kind of my thought process behind that one again not really a color that i throw too much or a bait that i throw too much but uh figured i'd have one just add it to the arsenal just in case and then the last bait that I picked up, I just got a couple of these big boys. So these are the DP21s. These are their super deep divers. Like I said, I don't really throw a deep diving crankbait all too much, but I saw that they had some new ones and some new sizes and a bunch of great looking colors. So I just picked up a couple. Just as a comparison for you guys, this is again one of their old discontinued baits. That's that DP15. Actually, that's the exact color that I got the first time that I got one of these baits in a Bass Baits Monthly box. That's their old 4K shad color. It looks so different. Hang on. All right, so here's just a little size comparison for you guys. Again, it's probably kind of hard to tell on camera, but that is the new DP21, and then that is the older discontinued DP15. I have a couple of these guys laying around, like I said. This is actually the exact color that I got in my first Bass Bites Monthly box uh, when I first got these baits. But yeah, like I said, don't really do a whole lot of deep cranking, but I figured I'd pick up a couple of those newer sizes. This is, again, that Ghost IU color, so super natural, super translucent, got that chartreuse dot on the side, which again, I really like. I didn't even notice I did that on the website, but that's really cool. I really like that little added touch. And you can really see like the texture and all the little details and stuff on these really big baits. Really shows the little gill imprints and everything super well. God, that looks so good. And then I also got this color, which they call Shad Hammer. So that's just like a super bright, again, chrome kind of shad color. I really like those little added fins. They added like these little orange fins on the side, which they obviously didn't have to do, but really adds to the overall profile, at least for me. I'm sure when this thing goes whizzing by a fish's face, the fish isn't going to be like, oh, that thing's got two pairs of pectoral fins. So that must be real. I'm going to go eat that one. But it does look really cool. And it shows, again, just that little attention to detail. Really shows that they're taking their time designing these baits and especially the colors on them. Alrighty, folks. So here's the big old pile of baits. That's pretty much everything that we unboxed. Again, I had those couple other baits that are staying in a box for whatever reason. I don't know. I just I don't really feel like taking them out of the box right now. So I'm just going to leave them in the box probably for good. But all these baits here are going in my personal collection. So I think the only thing to do now is to put them in a box and get them ready for next spring. So I was cleaning up my room and I realized that I missed this one. This is their Ghost Gizzard Shad in the DP21. So we're just going to add that real quick in there. And uh, yeah, I think that's the last bait. That's got to go on the brand new Cornerstone box. Alrighty, folks, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, right, the giveaway. If you guys have stuck around to this point, I really do appreciate it. You guys are now going to have your chance to win a couple of these brand new baits from Cornerstone. 
So as you guys saw, I didn't unbox either of these baits. These are both the green gizzard shad color. We got one of the DP 1.5s, one of their new square bills. Then we also got one of the big Swiss, which is one of their top water walking baits. And yeah, I really do like these colors. I think they look great, but as you guys can tell, I have just way too many of these baits already as is. So I figured I'd just give a couple of these back to you guys. So if you guys want to get entered to win these baits, all you got to do is hit that like button, subscribe to the page, and leave me a comment down below. The comment's going to be the most important part. That's going to be the way that I can pick whoever wins this thing. The comment doesn't matter. You just have to leave me a comment. And I think I'm going to do these giveaways a little bit differently this year. Last year, I seemed to have some issues with getting in contact with people and everything. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have it so that the giveaway winner is announced in the next video that's uploaded. If you guys want to enter, I would highly suggest turning the notifications on for my videos just so that you guys know when my next upload is so you can check to see if you won. Again, I'm probably not going to be reaching out in the comments anymore just because it seems like it's been an issue. There's been a ton of bots reaching out to people, giving people a hard time. So we're just going to do it so I announce it in the next video. So yeah, tune in within like the next week or so and I'll probably be announcing that just in the very beginning of next video. But if you guys want to win, just again, like, comment, subscribe. But I feel like this video has gone on for way too long. We've just been talking baits for like an hour now or something. So I'm probably going to call it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check and wreck them and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.